So, Alex, Christine, basically right now the Artemis team is taking a break after a busy morning. They're going to convene tomorrow afternoon to discuss what exactly went wrong today and their next steps for getting this rocket up into the air. Take a look at the footage from earlier today as the countdown clock was ticking down all morning until just before 8 a.m. when it froze at T minus 40 minutes. About an hour after that, NASA officially scrubbed the launch of what they call the most powerful rocket in history. Now, delays like this do happen for launches. Overnight, there were concerns about lightning that delayed fueling for an hour, and then engineers investigated a possible hydrogen leak after that. But ultimately, the launch was canceled because of a cooling problem with one of the rocket's engines. NASA said the issue could not be fixed within the two-hour launch window this morning. We really need time to look at um, all the all the information, all the data, and um, you know we, we're gonna we're gonna play all nine innings here, you know, and, and we're not ready to give up yet. Now, tens of thousands of people packed into the Cape Canaveral area this morning to watch the launch. Some even stayed overnight to secure their view, and needless to say, there were a lot of disappointed faces out here today. Now, when the launch does eventually happen, the intention is to stress test the rocket's ability to withstand higher temperatures. There won't be any people on board the mission, just three test dummies measuring radiation levels. Radiation levels are one of the biggest risks to humans during space flights. The goal is for humans to eventually be on board this rocket and visit the moon once this testing phase is over. Now, NASA says that Friday will be the earliest day that this launch could take place. Again, they are convening tomorrow afternoon, though. They have a press conference scheduled for tomorrow at 6 p.m. We expect to learn more then. Back to you. Uh, Austin, we know that private space travel has been very successful recently. Can you talk about why this is such a setback for public space travel? Yeah, so these launches are not cheap. It's uh, estimated to be about $4.1 billion for each launch for these Artemis missions. On top of that, there were just so many people out here today. I booked a hotel 45 minutes away from the spot. That hotel completely booked. Hotels all over this area completely booked. So one has to ask, what are all these people going to do for the rest of the week while they wait for this thing to get rescheduled? No doubt a lot of disappointment to go around.